We're back at our repeat stage of notable gun violence in America. The shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs victory parade that took one life and injured more than 20 others is extremely common. But since it involved the Super Bowl champs, we'll go through the thoughts and prayer stage, followed by the part where gun nuts think that they're the victims. Here's some of the thoughts from the Chiefs organization who are obviously devastated by the close call. We are truly saddened by the senseless act of violence that occurred outside of Union Station at the conclusion of today's parade and rally. Our hearts go out to the victims, their families, and all of Kansas City. We are in close communication with the mayor's office as well as the Kansas City Police Department. At this time, we have confirmed that all of our players, coaches, and staff and their families are safe and accounted for. We thank the local law enforcement officers and first responders. And we say this every time, too. It's only a matter of time before anyone that happens to be lucky enough not to already be affected by gun violence to then experience it. Multi-millionaire athletes, coaches, and executives probably felt their place in society may shield them from wondering if they'll make it out of what should be a normal situation. And then when it happens, other folks in the same world can't help but to speak out. This is not an isolated situation in this country, but I know what I know what the cycle is going to be, and then we'll go back to normal, everyday scheduled programming. And the problem is, is that in these particular situations, when we have to come on television or anybody else has to talk about it, that hates this part of what we are as a country, then it's, it's always isolated. Well, it's this and it's that. The bottom line is that it happens too much in the country. That's the bottom line. So as we move forward, when we're talking about football and, and celebratory, we just coming off of a Super Bowl. I was excited to come on today and talk about the Kansas City Chiefs parade. This is the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. It doesn't even matter anymore. And that's the magnitude of what's happening, and it happens too often in this country that we live in, which is great, by the way. And you know me. I'm a fisherman. I'm a hunter. I love gun rights. Something needs to be done about these particular situations that seem to happen in this country in particular far too often. We'll ridiculously bash Marcus Spears for being a former athlete turned analyst that doesn't have the right to speak about the loss of life and how his country should do something about it. We'll tell Adam Schefter to leave it alone and keep sports as an escape from our daily problems, even though our daily problem of gun violence interrupted those distractions. And so the Chiefs, I got a message, are okay, at least according to the person that texted me. Doesn't seem like anybody from their particular party was injured or hurt today. But there are at least eight to ten other people who were injured. There's at least one person today who lost their life. And we are left here now to try to make sense of this particular situation. These images are happening everywhere, all the time, every day, every week in this country. It's disgusting. It's sickening. It's enough. How many times do we have to see this everywhere? So today, it's the Chiefs' turn. It's at a Super Bowl parade. Tomorrow, it will be somewhere else. Somebody else will lose their life. Our paid-off politicians can't keep expecting influential people to keep acting like they're not afraid for their lives, too. But they simply just don't care. During my four years, nothing happened, and there was great pressure on me having to do with guns. We did nothing. We didn't yield. And once you yield a little bit, that's just the beginning. That's the avalanche begins. It's a horrible, horrible situation, and we're not going to fix it. Criminals are going to be criminals. I don't see any real role that we could do other than mess things up. If somebody wants to take you out and doesn't mind losing their life, there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do about it. There's really, I, I don't think you're going to stop the gun violence. I think you, you've got to change people's hearts. What should be done to protect people like your little girl from being safe at school? Well, we homeschool her, but, you know, that's our decision. I will ask Congress to repeal totally ineffective legislation that makes it harder to protect our schools and easier for criminals to face absolutely no opposition when they go in. I will also create a new tax credit to reimburse any teacher for the full cost of a concealed carry firearm and training from highly qualified experts. Who's better? Who's better? If even 5% of teachers, people that are skilled with arms, we want that, 5% were voluntarily armed and trained to stop active shooters, we would achieve effective deterrence and the problem would cease to exist. And that would be a lot of people. 